Welcome to the KX Country Clubhouse. I'm Derm from KX 94.7 and joining us today in the clubhouse, we welcome from the West Coast, it's Aaron Perchette. Aaron. Hey Derm, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Well, you know what, I'm fresh off of a uh, little surgery that I had the other day, as you can probably tell, I have a little thing on my nose and under my eye. I didn't fall off a skateboard or anything like that. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah, but I'm, I'm healthy. Things are great. Good. How has uh, summer been going? COVID-19, how's that going with you and, uh, and those around you that you love? Well, everybody's safe and healthy so far. I mean, there is this uh, surge that's happening again. So, we're, you know, you're always worried about it. I mean, you don't really want to catch this thing, obviously, and uh, or pass it on to anyone if you do get it. But um, things have been crazy. You know, uh, when the when the first um, pandemic was announced and happening, it kind of freaked me out, I have to admit. I mean, I'm not a, not a conspiracy theorist. I'm not a paranoid person normally at all. But it made me, uh, you know, a little more in tune with what life uh, is like. <laughs> anything can happen, and that anything was happening. So I, I did kind of go into protective mode, did hunker down for a little while, but I created a bunch of things in the meantime, too, um, that helped me get by, you know, for myself, but also help other people get by at the same time. And when the pandemic news did come down, Concerts weren't canceled yet. Shows weren't canceled yet. That was that came along, and <laughs> how did that affect you as far as your livelihood is concerned? What did Aaron Perchette think? Oh no, I'm not going to play any concerts this spring and, and or summer, or maybe for the rest of the year. Yeah, as those concerts and and events were being canceled and and postponed to next year, so everything's postponed to 2021. Uh, everything I had on the books. Um, which was a good feeling, but at the same time, it's like, okay, well, what am I going to do for the rest of this year? How am I going to make any, generate any income? And luckily, I have to admit, I did, um, I did uh, keep something of mine that uh, I, I was hoping for just in case of a rainy day or a pandemic was going to happen. And that was um, uh, my personal royalties for uh, performance. So I still get my royalties for performance, which is good. And really, it is my bread and butter. And, and uh, uh, in times like this, it's really the only thing that can keep me afloat. I mean, I don't want to rely on the government. I don't want to rely on banks because, you know, uh, you just end up owing uh, much more in the long run. So thankfully, I, I do have a source of income. But then there's little gigs here and there that I have that are, are private things. Like I've had some, I've been, the strangest thing was I went uh, on a Zoom call as well with a buddy of mine's company. He owns a pool company. And uh, they paid me a couple of bucks just to get on and, and, and uh, be there for their morning. It was like an eight o'clock in the morning uh, meeting that they had, Zoom meeting. And I played a couple songs for them to start the day off. And they said it was just an unbelievable way to start off the day to have somebody singing <laughs> to them. So uh, that was nice. And, and, and it made a couple extra bucks too, which was good. That's great. It was... Uh... 18 years ago that you released um, Consider This. Yeah. 18 years, Aaron. Yeah, thanks, Derm. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the reminder. But we're still going. Yeah, you know, I just, there, I can't stop. Um, and I can't do anything else. I mean, this is all I do for, for uh, uh, a living, and this is all I've done for a living for over 30 years. And you know, I played in the clubs for a long time. I DJ'd at a country bar and, you know, I, I, I've laid carpet. I've done everything except the one thing that I love playing the most is to crowds all over the country um, and releasing music to radio. So, I mean, eventually it will come to an end and I, I'm okay with that. I mean, you know, it, it, it does have to happen. Hockey players eventually hang up their skates and uh, I'll have to do the same at some point. Uh, the beautiful thing was I did get to, hoist my Stanley Cup, which we might talk about later. But uh, yeah, I, I, I can't believe my first single actually ever was a song without a video called uh, Heart Like a Hurricane. That came out April 14, 2000. So 20 years ago, over 20 years ago now, I, I released my first single to radio and had my first hit with Consider This in uh, 2002. And man, I just can't stop. I love doing it. And, and I can't see, uh, I can't see doing anything else in my entire life except maybe retiring and just sitting in a backyard. <laughs> what I think is pretty cool, I think 
kudos to you 18 Thank years you. ago from uh, since the release of consider this so many artists don't last four or five years so um yeah. and and it was 16 years your very first number one better when i do was in 2018 so 16 years to get you now there was chart successes but but to get that first number one 16 years that's uh that's slugging away and believing in yourself and keep it keeping keeping on doing what you what you do best well, you know what? The thing was, is that it wasn't, um, I didn't have a lot of confidence in my career between 2010 and 2015. And uh, people said, my friends, family, everybody was saying, you can't stop doing this. You, you're not done yet. This is definitely, there's more still to go in your career. And I had a hard time believing that. And once I, um, I changed producers, I, I started working with Scott Cook. Uh, who everybody probably knows uh, was Dallas Smith's bass player for a long time, but he's also a producer and, a, and an engineer. And he said, let's, uh, I, I really want to help you get your career back on track. And he, he was a huge part of the resurgence, I like to call it, resurgence of my career, because I, I don't think I, I went away too far. It wasn't a resurrection or, you know, a, 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 a you know, comeback story, I would say. It was just it took it from kind of this level that was here going down and then boom hit in 2016 with dirt road in them went to top 10 it was my first top 10 in a long time almost 10 years i think and then uh yeah then we consistently had hits after that with worth a shot uh, mama's boy beats a daddy's girl and then with um better when i do and and yeah it's just uh it's nice feeling to be able i always say that you know i was lucky enough to be one of the one percent of who you know whoever in Canada wants to do this as a career and become a, a known name across the country. But I'm also, I think I'm 1% of the 1% who gets to do it again and have a, have a second go at it. And at my age, I'm turning 50 in a couple of days, actually. Um, you know, you can't help but get older, as you know, I mean, you're in your what uh, late thirties now. So uh, <laughs> as you know, and, and the thing is, is that I, I don't lose any spirit and age in my heart and in my mind and I just got to keep going so I try and keep up with uh, the music that's happening I enjoy doing it and uh, my thing is I got to keep music on on uh, the radio hopefully if I can and use that as basically a business card as I call it to get people out to the shows and uh, it's uh, it's continuing on which is great and you're right 50 is, or is just a number as long as you got yeah. the passion and the uh, and the that, those good feelings and good vibes in your heart that is uh, that's what matters. Yeah. Hey, that's uh, not a lot of artists get to put out a greatest hits album. Well, here's the coolest thing too is that I did put out the greatest hits album, but now I've had I I didn't I wasn't able to put a bunch of songs on there that I'd had as as radio hits I guess, um, and now with the new hits that I've had I I could have a volume two which is volume insane. <laughs> Do when you're going when you're getting going to get back out on the road and the yeah. live touring scene comes back in 2021. Uh, putting together a set list is that going to be um, more fun? Is it going to be? Are you going to do some new stuff? Uh, are you going to do cover hits? Are you going to kind of have this this model that you've been on the road and set list and all that for say the last five or six years? Are you going to shake things up and say, okay, 2021, it's been dark for a year. Let's go just uh, have a whole, make, let's go make this epic. The great thing is so far is that with uh, restrictions easing here in British Columbia, I've actually done a few uh, performances. I had a, a thing this weekend in Victoria, near Victoria in Sydney, and I played four shows in four nights, did a residency, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and got to play a 90 minute set. What the funny thing was, is that it was billed as a 75 minute to 90 minute set. And every night I went over because there are so many songs. Plus I like to talk. So, <laughs> I mean, that helps, but at the same time, uh, I couldn't even get through half of all the, the songs that I've, I, I should be having in a set list and then some. Um, so yeah, it, it's when 2021 comes around, I get to do the full band set list. Like that was acoustic with a couple of players and myself. Uh, but when we get to do the full band set list and it's live and I'm running around on stage and, and hopefully playing to the thousands of people that we've gotten to over the years um, and more. 
uh, yeah, the set list is, it, it's tough to pick out what can't make the cut. And because singles are still, you know, doing so well and picking up a lot of speed over time, and and even some are getting more popular after the fact, which is crazy. Like worth a shot is has been streamed, I think six mil, some crazy number, which for me is like wow, that's awesome. So I've got to put that. It depends on where I put it in the set list now because it is a very popular song. So instead of putting it halfway through the set, it's got to go near the end because people are waiting to hear that song. So I can't wait to get out there and actually play these tunes for everyone and, and, uh, and then be able to make sure that, you know, I'd put them in the right list. That's for sure. And then maybe, uh, you know, maybe we get an encore. <laughs> so then I can play some of the other ones. Yeah. Artists are getting anxious to get back on the road and, and fans yeah. are getting anxious to get back out to shows. So I think, uh, I think next year is going to be uh, is going to be pretty awesome as far as uh, the live concert experience is concerned for everybody that, uh, yeah. that is involved. We're getting Absolutely. back to uh, hockey in a week. You got your Canucks Jersey pressed and ready to go. <laughs> I sure do. I have several. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I'm a massive hockey fan. I, I've, uh, I've always said that hockey is, the thing that flows through my veins the most other than the love for my kids. Uh, this is honestly my first passion and my first, uh, my first true love that I ever experienced was hockey playing hockey uh, and listen to the Canucks on a little transistor radio under my pillow when I was a kid and, and always got in trouble for it, but I had to listen to the games. So uh, to be without hockey, because you're not, because it's 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 just taken away from you basically and from anyone who's a hockey fan they understand and anybody who plays hockey and especially the nhlers uh it's it's the worst feeling in the world because there's there's no uh at that time there was no future in hockey who knew when it was going to come back so now i'm so excited that yeah they're playing the minnesota i was going to say the minnesota north stars the minnesota wild wow. obviously and they're in their play-in round hopefully they make through that in the best five and then who knows i'm i'm i, I shaved yesterday clean down and i'm going to start my playoff beard so hopefully they make it deep and i might have something big and bushy like your hair but on my <laughs> well, we'll keep our fingers crossed for uh, for your Canucks and your uh, beard Thanks. to have a, a very fun and a healthy summer run. Aaron, Excellent. thank you so much for joining us in the uh, clubhouse today. Um, continue to uh, stay safe and uh, good luck to your Canucks and can't wait for you to be uh, back in KX country in, uh, in 2021. Make sure you come by and see us. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Stay healthy and wash your hands. Keep your distance. Thanks, buddy. Nice to see you. Thanks. You too. Thanks, Aaron.